All right, this is the Traders Gym software from Think Trader, and this is one of the software packages that you can use to backtest Forex trading strategies. And be sure to stick around to the end because I'll show you where to find my complete comparison of Traders Gym against all of the other top backtesting software on the market. <laughs> But for now, we're just going to dive into Trader's Gym because number one, uh, this can be a viable backtesting software that you can use. And number two, there isn't very much good um, documentation on how to use it. So it's a little confusing once you get started. So I just want to make a quick tutorial that will help you get started and show you all the basic features. To get started, head over to the uh, Think Trader website, download their software and sign up for a free account. Once you log in, this is what you'll see. So in order to start a new test, hit the plus button at the top and that will allow you to add a new chart. Um, and then from there, be sure to scroll this all the way back to the um, earliest date available. So in this case, uh, that's November 13th, 2019. And uh, today is November 12th, 2020. So you're only gonna get about a year of backtesting data with the software. And since you can't upload any data, then uh, you're pretty much stuck with the, what they have. But it can be useful for you. Um, maybe you're a day trader and uh, this type of data might be good enough for you. So uh, you can choose your symbol, your feed, the price type, either bid, ask, or average, and then the uh, time scale. So whatever time scale works best for you, maybe it's the uh, four hour, and then uh, hit OK, and then the chart will load. And as you will notice, uh, it's pretty ugly in the beginning because it's so big. So use the scroll wheel on your mouse or simply scroll up and down on your trackpad or whatever device you're using. And that will zoom in and out on the chart. From there, you can choose a few key settings for this chart. For example, you can change the type of chart it is, um, the time frame that this chart is on, uh, the bid ask and all of that stuff. Uh, you can also add indicators if you want to. This is the list of indicators that they have. And you can just put that on the chart depending on what your strategy is. Then you can set the playback speed and that can be done in two ways. Number one, uh, you can set uh, how, how big the ticks are. So for example, if you have a four hour chart, as you can see down here, but you want each tick to move um, on the five minute time frame, then you can set it that way. And then you can set the speed here. Slide this to the left, it'll be slower. Slide it to the right, it'll be faster. So let's make it pretty quick right there. And then just as an example, I'll hit play and you can see um, it move in five minute increments. Okay, we'll stop that there and then set this back to uh, four hours so that it goes by a lot faster. And then let's move down to the account pane. Okay, so down here, these windows are the account information. Again, you can hit the plus button to open a new account. You can determine the deposit, the name of the account and the currency. Uh, but we have a brand new one here anyway, so we'll just use that. All right, on this side of the screen is gonna be all the information about the account. Uh, notice that it's a 400 to 1 leverage account. So um, take that into consideration when you're taking trades, especially if you have an account that's 100 to 1 or 50 to 1. Then you have the balance, um, equity, margin level. You can get a trading report uh, that will show you your results. You can log out of this account if you want to. Then it'll show the active trades, the pending trades, and the history of trades. And then from there, you can hit the settings button, and that will allow you to either delete the account or withdraw or deposit. And the withdraw and deposit is nice because you can simulate real life conditions and when you might wanna take some money out of the account and how that will affect the performance of your system. All right, now that you know all of the basics about how to set this up, uh, let's take some trades. So let's move this forward and let's say I wanna stop right there and it's kind of at a support level. I wouldn't take this trade normally, but just as an example, let's say that you wanna go long and you think it's gonna bounce off this support level. So just right click on the chart and go to order window. From there, you can set your quantity, your stop loss, take profit. You can determine if it's a instant execution or a pending order, buy, sell, and then you can place the order. So let's say we wanna buy. So we're gonna say buy, uh, stop loss down here, um, 30 pips. You can set it as price or pips. So let's call it 50 pips, right? And then we'll set the take profit at uh, let's say 150 pips and see what happens. Okay, it's a buy, inst instant execution, place the order. Okay, from there, we go forward and see what happens. And there we go, hit the uh, take profit. So we go over here to the history 
and we take a look at that one order and as you can see that made $150. So that's how you get started with Trader's Gym inside of Think Trader. But how does Trader's Gym compare to all of the other backtesting software packages on the market? Well in this video I did a complete review of all of the top backtesting solutions. So if you want to get a complete review of each software solutions, the pros and cons, and the best ones that I picked in each category, be sure to watch that video. So if you found this video useful, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you want to get more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications. Thanks for watching.